<laughs> All right, uh, guys, let's get on to our third topic tonight, which is going to be, let me bring up my little thingy here. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be a fun topic to talk about. This is TJ's topic. North Carolina Diner offers customers 15% discount for praying in public. And I see David's face ah, right ah. now. He's like, <laughs> awesome. here we go. So let's get to this video. I can't wait to start praying to Cthulhu in public. Yay. You <laughs> might discount. All right, here we go with the video. For Half Post Live, I'm Logan Tittle. In North Carolina, it pays to pray, at least at Mary's Gourmet Diner, where customers get a 15% discount for praying before their meal. The restaurant's owner, Mary Hagland, says the discount has been around for several years. They just don't advertise it, and it's supposed to come naturally. The deal isn't limited to any religions, so long as you don't sacrifice anything on the table. Ah. In a statement on the diner's Facebook page, Mary explains it's also not limited to prayer, writing, it's a gift we give at random to customers who take a moment before their meal. This could be a prayer or just a moment to breathe and push the busyness of the world away. Who you talk to or meditate on, etc., is your business. Religion seems to have its monetary perks, especially if you happen to be the leader of the Catholic Church. Pope Francis made a surprise visit to the Vatican cafeteria for lunch and dined with the staff. He, of course, acted casual and waited in line like all the employees. But when he got to the end, the cashier said she just didn't have the heart to hand him the bill. So that being said, I knew uh, you got a little chuckle when she said sacrifice on the table, Dave. So would you like to uh, expand there? <laughs> it kind of cracks me up that, first of all, they're giving a discount for explicitly doing something that the Gospels say Jesus preached against them doing. You know, no, don't yes. pray in public like the hypocrites. <laughs> or thou shalt get a 15% discount at the diner. Um, <laughs> I wonder if the Satanists, like I said, with the little, little tiny image we have here for the topic, I imagine if they go. get the fifteen percent discount too. Wonder. Yeah, I wonder. Wonder if Pope. Uh, wonder if the Pope got his fifteen percent discount. <laughs> oh, if I. Yeah, if I. No, he got it for free. Discount. He got it for free. Oh, there. Uh, TJ yeah, get a fifteen percent discount then, right? Yeah, TJ. Since this was your topic, go ahead. Well, I mean, <laughs> the the <laughs> obvious points of where are you going to go with like. Uh, they hand a discount out to whoever they want. So it's not like a discount for everybody, I guess. I guess sometimes, like, I don't I don't even know. What, does she, like, watch over every table as they get their food? Or does she take the yeah. server's word for it? I don't I even know so, how, yeah. how it would work out. But, uh, you know, we, we were talking before the show about this, and I, I don't want to steal anyone's thunder because these guys have some, some awesome uh, points as well. I'm actually, I would rather you guys get your points out and then I can add to them maybe. Well, what I want to say here real quick, and it's really quick, mine real quick, is it's about time people got something from praying. I, I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like your, your prayers have been answered if you were asking for a 15% discount on your meal. So, guys, prayers do come true, okay? so well, that, 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 That's what I was going to say because the name is, I read the article. I, this first time I've watched the video. It's uh, Mary's Gourmet Diner, and I was thinking, what a great tagline. The only pace wor place where it pays to pray. Ah, Would that be like oh, a great yeah. line? Like, right That'd be a great video. fucking line. That'd be a great fucking promotional yeah. fucking material. <laughs> what I was going to make, I was going to make a joke. That's why I was chuckling when, when TJ was saying uh, about the watching everyone before they eat. Maybe they have a CCT in there, and they watch everyone like the omniscient God they think actually watches them. Ah. Yeah, really, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. It's it's really funny because it's it's an awkward discount to give. Like <laughs> I understand giving a discount to like you know a firefighter or a police officer because you know they, yeah. they're out there you know protecting your community or whatever. But no, absolutely. But why yeah. why reward people that you know? And I work in the food service industry and. I've you know had to run food to tables and sometimes the plates are extremely hot so you're sitting there getting burned and before you can drop the table off the family's like hold on a second and they all have to join hands and put their head down and then do like the longest prayer ever while you're getting burned to death by these hot ass <laughs> plates and then you know lo and behold they'll probably complain their food is cold because they spent 25 minutes praying before they ate. <laughs> get used to it get used to it atheist while well, they're going to pray while you burn okay yes <laughs> yeah atheist get used to it while you can <laughs> just a taste of my everlasting future exactly right? get used to and it now, now what if she gives it to everybody like if the mormon missionaries come in and they pray to their false god does she give them it? yes yes she, she, um, they claim they, they do, do. that's only they after do, they yeah. got the attention see that's yeah. the thing which that's interesting 
Paul, I think everyone's going to be hitting it up for it. So exactly, yeah, I think Paul they, has they an stopped, update here. Yeah, Paul. Has yeah, a, they have. Yeah, actually, Paul's I was an update, just going to say that it was interesting that they did it for four years and then you know it was all under wraps. Like the, the, you think they would be proud of it if they're going to give a discount for people praying. Like we're going with our beliefs. We're showing that you know if you just take a little time, we're happy and proud of it. But what uh, there's a, a article from yesterday on Huffington Post, and what it says is on Thursday, a handwritten board near the front door announced that the restaurant would no longer offer the prayer discount. And the handwritten note was as follows. While you may exercise your right of religious freedom at this restaurant by praying over your meal to any entity or (laughs) non-entity, we must protect your freedom from religion in a public place. That was the sign. It's like, why would you add, we must protect your freedom from religion in a public place? It's like, that's a, to me, that's a dig at at uh, the Freedom from Religious Foundation, yes. which is actually sent them the letter That's saying, correct. why are you doing this shit? Why, you know, this is discriminatory. Yeah. It's a dig at them, and it's a dig at everyone else who's like, ah, oh, what the hell? They're giving discounts to just religious people? So it's, I think it's a, just like, you know, well, we're no longer giving discount because they complained. Well, no, we're, we complained because it's discriminatory. Not, it, so it's I can, I can back on people. I promise you that the regulars at that place now hate atheists even more. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're oh, like, yeah. God damn it, now we have to pay 15% more for, for my omelet. Yeah, <laughs> yep. The omelet. thing is, the thing that killed me, they actually had it on the printer, on the printed out. Yes. You see it, praying in public, 15%. Yep. It's like, didn't they just, had it prepared, like waiting. They had it prepared. They had to do stuff to make that happen. I, I wonder if they maybe like tried to entice people to pray by like trying to get Jesus, you know, it to look like Jesus on the toast. Oh no, no, no! <laughs> Jesus would see through such a cheap trick as that. No, no. There's the image oh, yeah. for you. There, there it is. The uh, praying in public discount. Yeah, but they <laughs> there it is for sincere Bible-believing Christians or no, people of good heart. Or people praying to non-entities well, too. You know, yeah. we, we <laughs> also they, brought they up. They awarded that too. Praying what, to them. What never what leave them out. What, 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 imagine all the good they could do if they, instead of just giving the fifteen percent discount, they said we're going to give this fifteen percent to this charity. Right. Um, well, yeah, that's what I was going to bring up. Yeah. We, there's there's so not many. Douche. Not being a douche. Fifteen percent. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, like I, like I said, and, 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 I, I would have to pay full price. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same here. Damn, that's too yeah. funny. No, I mean, like, what I was going to say is, like TJ was going to say here, I had written down as a note is, uh, how about giving the 15, well, instead of giving the 15% discount, how about donating to, you know, the 15% to feed and starving children or, or, or feed the homeless in the area, give them blankets, give them clothes during the winter time. I'd rather see it, see that instead of, given Christians that supposedly have money a 15% discount. I mean, like, or, they end up giving 10% to their church, right? I mean, like, uh, I, or, I just don't get you it. you could do simple things, like, to encourage people to, like, not saying they don't know, do learn that, math. You could do things like, if you can add up your own bill, including tax, <laughs> and get the total <laughs> oh, right shit, at the end, funny. then we'll give you 15% off. If you can tell us what your total is, with fifteen percent off, that's you true. Know, and it encourages people to like think and do some math and stay up on their toes. But, uh, but no, no, won't... they're like, no, no, just put your head down and have a moment of silence or some weird shit, and then we'll give you some money or, or discount. It's yeah. ridiculous. I wonder, how many, I wonder how many people got the discount when they were looking at their cell phones before they started eating. Yeah, like yeah. just sitting there like. Just their heads. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a the food's here. That's good. Oh, that's <laughs> discount. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Uh, what I want to know is how many people actually sacrificed something on the table before they had to put that little caveat in. Right? Disclaimer. Yeah. By the way, do not slaughter baby animals on the table. <laughs> yeah, that's what you say. As long as you don't sacrifice. I got 20 bucks that says they got kosher salt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, God, this topic was so fun. I love these topics we have there. Yeah. It's so fun. It's like well, you just sit there and rip all day on just the topic itself or the video. It's like these are the best. And, and it just it's sad because the Christians look at us and say, well, they're teasing us. They're teasing us. Yeah, we're teasing you because you're a fucking idiot. You're, you're it's fucking, fucking ridiculous. It's, it's so fucking yeah. funny. You're, 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 you're a detriment to society. You're a detriment to humanity. This is why we fucking laugh at you because of you, the book you fucking believe in, man. Read it sometime. You might learn something. There it's you like, go. You know what I mean? It's like unbelievable, man. So anything else? It freaks me out. To see them not read their Bible, you know, mm. uh, and and yeah, like defend they know better than God. They defend yeah. it wholeheartedly while not knowing what the hell it is. Exactly. 
I be- I said it. God believes it. That settles it. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I totally agree. Yeah. All right. That's... Before before we take our little break here and get on to the Cooter Report, anything else you guys want to wrap up with before we move on? Uh, I, I was. I, I, was... Said, I swear I thought you'd said Cougar Report, so I'm very disappointed now. <laughs> no. Well, I th- well I, I think you would be happy because this is the Cooter Report. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Go That's very different. Yeah, it's very, very different. So, Drew, uh, you were gonna say something? Yeah. Uh... Because they were asking, like, I wonder if this affects, like, Mormon prayers and things like that. Like I say, I had never watched the uh, the video until that point. I'd read the article. And she said, the lady said something that I was a downer. She said, before it was canceled or whatever, it's not even a policy. It's something we only do when we're moved to do it. And I was thinking, how convenient is that? Because she left herself a loophole where we only give it, oh, no, no. It was uh, yeah. just whenever we, we were moved to do it. So pretty much... Christians only is what it, I'm assuming. It, very, very incredibly subjective, of course, yeah. Not yeah. at all discriminatory. Not no. at all. <laughs>